I'm here in Washington, D.C., where earlier this afternoon, around 2 p.m., we experienced an earthquake. Now, I was actually in the news bureau whenever it happened, and we were able to literally feel the ground and building shake. There are all these crackled pieces of ceiling on the floor, and we were <laughs> running out to make sure none fell on us. Alexandra Mamalian and her family were in the Metro Union Station having lunch when the earthquake struck. Everyone just ran, yeah. We got under arches um, when the earthquake was going, and then as soon as it stopped, everyone just headed for the stairs. Buildings across the D.C. area were evacuated, including the Capitol and the Pentagon. I felt the tremors, the uh, glass started shaking, and kind of we all just started heading out as the sirens went off. With Metro and traffic at a standstill, the streets were filled with people in a state of confusion. People like Senator Christopher Coons, who was actually working during this congressional break. I uh, was walking over uh, to begin my duties presiding in the Senate uh, when I felt the earthquake. Police and fire response was widespread and instant. I heard sirens go off almost immediately. And the staff working in the offices for Arizona's delegation were also among those evacuated. But Senator Coons says the evacuations went off without a hitch. Even in the midst of an earthquake, quickly, professionally, we were able to relocate and conduct the business of the Senate. But for Alexandra and her family, those few moments of not knowing what had happened made them uneasy. It was scary. I didn't know what was happening. We didn't know if it was an earthquake or an explosion at the time, so we were a little scared. The good news is that despite some fears, there was no major damage in the D.C. area. In Washington, D.C., Nathan O'Neill, Cronkite News.